Now in this question we are given that the sum of the first k terms in this geometric series is more than 24.95 and we are asked to show that k satisfies this inequality. So I'll just leave this here for a moment and uh, we'll see how we get on. Now if we're trying to find the sum of the first k terms, what you should know is this formula, the sum of the first n terms. It's equal to a times 1 minus r to the power n all over 1 minus r. So if we let n equal the k, we already know the values for a and r, we can just simply substitute our values into this equation and say it's more than 24.95 but remember n is now k so therefore what we have is a times 1 minus r to the power n so a was 5 1 minus the common ratio was 4 fifths all right to the power k all over 1 minus the common ratio 1 minus 4 fifths and that was greater than 24.95. So just need to clean this up. So you could do 1 minus 4 fifths, which is 1 fifth. And 1 fifth, let's just cancel that out. We, when we have 1 fifth, goes into the 5 25 times. So I'm going to rewrite that again now as 25 multiply by 1 minus. Now instead of having 4 fifths, I must admit I prefer to have 0 0.8. So I'm going to put 0 0.8 to the power k and that's greater than 24.95. What I'm going to do next is not expand the bracket but divide both sides by 25. So if I divide this side by 25, I'm left with 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power k. And if I divide the other side by 25, you can do it on a calculator, you end up with 0 0.998. Next I'm going to rearrange this inequality. I'm going to add 0 0.8 to the power k to both sides and at the same time subtract 0 0.998 from both sides. So that's going to give me 0 0.002 is greater than 0 0.8 to the power k. Next I'm going to turn the inequality around because I prefer to have the value, the term with k, on the left hand side. So we'll just come down in the right hand side here and so what we're going to have is because this quantity is bigger than this quantity reversing it around I can say that this is smaller than the 0 0.002 in other words therefore 0 0.8 to the power k is smaller than less than 0 0.002 now at this stage in order to find k I need to use logs because the unknown is a power so if I take logs to both sides, and it doesn't matter what base I take, as long as I do the same to both sides. Well, I'm going to take base 10. That's going to be log in base 10. Don't need to write the 10 there. It's by default. We know that this is base 10. That would be 0.8 to the power k is less than the log of 0.002. And by the power rule of logs, I can bring the k down to the front here so that's going to be k log of 0 0.8 is less than the log of 0 0.002. Now the next stage is to divide both sides by the log of 0 0.8 and you've got to be very very careful here. It's so easy to make this common mistake just by saying that k is less than the log of 0 0.002 divided by the log of 0 0.8. But if you look at what we've got to show you'll notice that the inequality is the other way around to what we've got here. And so we have made a mistake. 
And it, as I say, it is a common mistake. If this answer were not here, you might just very simply trip up and put the inequality around the wrong way. So why is it this way? Well, when you divide any inequality by a negative number, you must reverse the sign to make it make sense. You might think, but hold on a minute, I'm not dividing by a negative number. Try it on your calculator, the log of 0 0.8. If you type it in, you'll see that it is a negative number. In fact, the log of any number less than 1 will always be negative. So remember that, the log of any number less than 1 will be negative. Try it. Just try typing in log of 0 0.4, say, or 0 0.3. You'll always get a negative number. So, don't forget then, when you divide by a negative number, always reverse the inequality. So that's why this inequality is reversed. And there you have it. That's what we had to show.